Good day, everyone. Mm. Uh, welcome back to episode three of Stoneblock. Um, as you can probably see, even just by turning around, I've made a lot of progress since last episode. Um, and right now, I'm going to be upgrading my pick. To make it unbreakable. So now I don't need to actually repair this thing. I actually, and I also wanted to grab out a piece of copper. Just turn that off. Uh, I need to make cobblestone binding. Do I have any spare? I do. I need to put a piece of aluminium brass in. Because what we're going to do, I want to level this pick up a little bit more. Um, just so I can add a few other modifiers to it. Because if we take a look in here... Uh, tool, no, not tool materials, modifiers. So, what was it that I wanted to add? Um... I don't remember, I don't think it's in here. But making a reinforced um, pickaxe isn't too bad. Alright, and then we need to make the copper. There we go. We've got ourselves a copper binding. Put this back in there, just turn that on. Uh, we can just put that into there. And now we need to change out the binding on this, so it will take away the cheap, which is not really needed anymore. It's going to give it, um, well technically this already has well established, but I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, I've done a little bit of work, I've hollowed out this little area over here for what I want to be as a storage drawer system. Um, because I want to get a little bit of an uh, auto storage here with a sieving auto sieve and hammer behind it. Um, just so I can be constantly generating mm. ores, make it just a bit easier. And then over here, I've set up a bit of a, a fluid cows area. So basically, where this cobblestone is, one of these cow stalls will be. This is 53 stalls, so that's one for every single cow, and as you can see I've made a milk and a water cow so far, and we're up to 14 buckets of each, which isn't shabby. Quest-wise, I've made a bit of a start on fluid cows, obviously, with the milk and water and the little ranching one. It's doing to get lava and seared stone, and in chickens, I've also made a fair bit of progress, making myself a few chickens, 10 10 10 them as well. And then over here, we went to the end. Uh, we still haven't made the tool forge, so we might get onto that uh, straight away. But yeah, we went to the end because I wanted to get myself this boy. I ended up making a Civ Fortune 3 mm -hmm. diamond mesh, which costs, if we have a look, it costs. 9 pieces of lapis and 30 pieces of compressed gravel, or compressed ender gravel, which is crushed end stone, which is compressed end stone. So it required a fair few stacks, I think it was nearly about 4.5 stacks of end stone. But we ended up getting it, and I'm happy with that. Basically what that means is we're going to get a lot more ores out of, say, one piece of compressed gravel. We can also use this in the auto sieve which will be a very nice mm. addition because that's going to give us more resources uh, so on and so forth so first thing I want to do let's go ahead what should we make the tool forge out of actually I probably have enough in here let's just make it out of iron I think it's 36 ingots yep 36 ingots Three of that. Just grab that. 
So now we just put uh, the tool station there, the seared bricks on top with the iron next to it, and we get ourselves a tool forge. Uh, I need I need this cow to move. And basically, what that does is it allows us to make weapon uh, weapons. Well, weapons like the cleaver, which is quite useful for beheading, but a hammer, which is sort of like these. Mine's a three by three area, but it's just a lot more useful. Um, so we got that. So let's go ahead and claim that reward. We get another two ender tanks. Where did I store them? Maybe I'm going to use them. No, nope, there they are. So, um, this is a little automatic lava generation I got. So we got cobblestone being pumped into here, which has a void upgrade on it. So it avoids all the mm -hmm. excess. This thing gets pumped into the crucible, which is making lava being pumped into the ender tank. The ender tank is then flowing mm -hmm. it or tra teleporting it, you could say, into this magmatic generator, which every now and then I put mm -hmm. the... Um, imaginary time block near to increase its stats. So let's go ahead and do this uh, like that. Then we can just get rid of them. As you can see, like the normal chickens you can't tend tend tend. However I've got ten 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 log and flint chickens. May as well go ahead and let's put them up here. Uh, what else do we not need? Let's keep everything else on us for now. So the next area we probably want to work on is probably getting the auto sieve. So to craft that you need a normal sieve, two blocks of iron, some glass panes, and two iron ingots. So we're going to have to could probably put this into here actually. Take that out. I believe that makes glass panes. Okay, this cow needs to go. I believe that makes glass pane. Um, what I actually will do is get another bucket, get a few buckets of lava in here. We've built up a lot of lava. We have 60 buckets, 61 buckets. So what we're going to do, let's just quickly do this. Put that back here. So we can keep building up our lava. Before I started doing the obsidian for the reinforcements, I was at 91 buckets, I think. So pretty healthy amount. Okay, so here we go, we got glass. Yeah, you do, you make glass panes. Okay. So we don't need you, we need 38 iron, so let's go ahead, oh no we don't, sorry, we need 20, so make two iron blocks, four glass panes, Where's my sieve? Right here. So we put the glass like this, the two iron like this, and the sieve there, and we get an auto sieve. And basically all this does is if you put it down, gives it RF. Put the mesh in, so let's just quickly go and steal this mesh. And then you just scrap like a piece of sand. Just dump that in there. That'll consume 40 RF a tick. And sieve it. There you go. So we got three pieces of iron or pieces. Uh, copper or piece, tin or piece, it's of uranium. Not too bad. So let's go ahead and just dump that. Uh, is that going to be an even amount? I hope so. Yeah, it is. Alright. And then the other block we wanted to make, so let's quickly go and claim this actually. We get 
some speed upgrades from extra utilities. Uh, and the other thing we want to make is an auto hammer. So that requires some diamond, iron, so we need ten of them, two of them, two of them. Okay, so let's make the diamond hammer. Four pieces of, grab four pieces of glass pane. Uh, we need to make, oh wait, no, we don't need glass pane, do we? Auto hammer. Um, do that, do that. Boom! Auto hammer, perfect. So let's grab you. Um, we need to make a few. I want to make actually. Let's go. Okay, so storage drawers, right? Have these types of drawers here, where frame drawers they're called, and you can make them out of whatever material you want. So we need to make some trims. So let's make some oak trims. So it's going to require eight and three, I think. Will do. I think this will do. Yeah. And then you put the trims like this, and you get a framing table. Now let's go put this over where our drawers are going to be. So we'll put that here. Um, and then we need to go make our framed drawers. So to make a frame drawer, I'm just going to put that over here actually. Um, you need a chest and then just six sticks compared to a normal one where it's like six oak uh, wood. Um, so what we're going to do is store that. Um, what do we have more of? Let's grab like a stack of each and that will make us how many chests? That'll make us a stack of chests. And then we need two. It's basically we're going to be making two by two chests. So let's do that. I think that's how you do it. Storage two by two drawers. Oh no, they need a piece of. Do that. And we do this. So we got a stack of these. Let's just put these sticks back. So we put the drawers here. And then if we wanted, let's say, um, let's grab. I don't know. Polished stone and wood. Yeah, let's do that as an example. So basically, if you put this here, it will change. So this one will change the outside. This one will change the inside bit, as you can see, like the little actual slots. And this one will change the trim of it. So you, you can just like sort of mix and match these however you like. Mm. That doesn't look too bad. But I think I want to go for a bit of a different look. Where do I get the first stone here? So let's grab... 16 dark oak. Do I have a chisel? I do not. Let's make a chisel. Gold, redstone, and a stick. Put that like this, and then we put the gold and the redstone in. We can change this over to this. And then I think I can. Maybe using cobblestone, actually. Yeah, we could. This one's the upgraded one, so let's grab a stack of cobble. 
Let's change it to more. Now this is the benefit about this type of chisel. Gives you a preview. The other one doesn't. Or the other two don't. Um, I reckon... Maybe... We want something like smooth looking, but also has a cool texture. So maybe... I was looking at this one actually, this one looks pretty cool. Let's take a look at that. So if we go... Like this... Okay, let's swap them around. Um, can I put like a torch here? Hmm, I reckon that looks pretty good. Well, so let's make them, so we get a stack of them. And let's... Actually, this will be a perfect time to show the... Resonant Exchanger. Alright, this is how this works. If you place this down, you shift right... Oh, you can't do it. Oh, that sucks. Thought it was gonna work. Damn. That really sucks. Mm. Alright. Um, I'm gonna edit this room around a bit, and I'll come back to you guys when it's done. Okay guys, we're back, or I'm back. And I've set up the basis of what the drawers are gonna look like. So on each side we've got 64 2x2 two two drawers connected with their own draw controllers and then at the back we've got our um, sieve drawers. I believe this is every drop you can get. So you've got the seven thorncraft crystals, some applied energistic stuff, glowstone, etc. I think that's everything we can get. I'm not 100% sure though, but we'll find out probably. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do, I've just made myself two more cows. So what we have to do now is we have to no. grab them, uh, shift right click them in. So now we've got seared stone and lava. So to completely set these up we need to do this. So we put fluid um, transfer nodes on the bottom. Um, we need our crescent hammer to do that. It's a bit annoying that these always link, but I mean, it is fine. They don't take too long to separate. Uh, then we need to disconnect this pipe and put two drums down. So these will take another two minutes before they're ready. And this should be like a darkish black colour and this should be like an orange colour. Or actually, should be the same colour as that really. Um, and for our water and milk, we've gotten 62 buckets of each. Um, along with that, I've made, oh, we got the reward for the compacting draw. I actually need to go pick up a draw controller to complete the next quest. Let's do that. And in chickens we got the red and cactus green. We're actually breeding up some leather chickens to make us leather so we can make more cows. And in the fluid cows we've unlocked Liquefactor Coal, Molten Clay, Obsidian, that would be a nice one to get, and Liquid, or Blue Slime. So, here's what we're going to need. We're going to need a fair bit of wheat. Um, and we're going to, actually, I'm going to quickly... How much iron have we got? 19. So let's go and grab some iron. Let's grab 20, 
Can I grab 32? I can't grab 32. Let's make a stack of iron quickly while we do this. Because I'm not sure how this works. Okay. So we take these out and we need this. Um now all we have to do I believe so to make this cow can't be crafted, you have to breed it from other cows for the task. Pick up the cow with the cow halter. Okay. So we need. Let's wait till these just produce their liquids. So I'm guessing from this it's. So it's water and lava, obviously, for obsidian. So it must be seed, stone, and board for clay. Yeah, so you're done, you're done, you done, no, you're nearly done, you're done, so you should be up to 63 buckets, 63 buckets, and 63 buckets, okay, so let's do this, so we take you out, and you out, and I'm guessing we just... Do that. Yup. So we can do that, but it means it's going to take time. So let's just go ahead and put them back in there. I wonder if that changes what they are, like 450? Okay, no, they need to stay out. So let's go ahead and put them down here. Um, we don't really need you, do we? And then let's grab the seared stone. Uh, you can only be mixed with lava or water, can you? So the next thing I think we need to do is probably work on the power storage or even just a power system. So I think we need to make a mass um, magmatic generator area. So I might do that off camera. And at the same time, I think I'm also going to set up the auto sitting back there. So let's take a look at the item conduits from Andrio. These require pulsating iron. Uh, we need ender pearls. Okay. I'll come back when we're ready. I'm gonna make a power area, make a sieving area, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. Um and I've done a little bit of a little bit more progression. I've made a few more cows. And you're actually ready to breed. Come on, follow me. And we got another molten clay. Uh, I'm trying, what I'm trying to do, so if we ever look here. So we've done purple slime, obsidian, blue slime, molten clay, and liquefactor mm. coal. What I'm, what I'm trying to do is get the molten iron. Because, well then we can get molten platinum from blue slime. Except molten iron is clay and liquefactor coal. Except, there's a chance of getting each type of cow. So for Molten Iron, there's a 20% chance that it will uh, be like bread. And it's the same for a lot of other ones. So like for instance, we wanted to get the Molten Platinum. That is a 50% chance. So it's much better. That will make us Molten Platinum, which we can just make Platinum ingots from. Except I believe it's... Yeah, it's got a much longer cooldown there. 
So now we gotta wait again for them to get ready to breed. We need to make buckets for them. We're just mm. smelting down iron now. Uh, we got some more, and at the same time, we're also trying to. Uh, we need six. That should be enough. We're trying to make the auto hammers because I've set up the basis of what this is going to look like. If we have a look, this is what it's going to look like. So, for instance, this one, mm. the cobblestone is getting pumped into the crucible and the auto hammer. The one that uh, the cobble that gets pumped into the crucible is heated at a rate of 60 um, buckets per like half second, I think, which is then pumped into the magmatic generator, which is then powering the sieve and hammer. It gets less efficient as you go. So, for instance, this one magmatic generator will be powering one, two, four machines compared to two, and then this. This magmatic generator here is powering, like, I think it's one, two, three, four, five machines. So it'll be a lot less efficient as you go. So, for instance, these will be running on, like, 8 RF a tick, and these ones will be running on 10 RF a tick. So that's basically the what it's going to look like. I need to put the mesh back in there. And if you feed them apples, they get a speed boost. So, like, it just makes them go quicker. And as well as that, the Fortune, the Civ Fortune 3, it does give you a luck boost on here, like it says it. I don't know if it actually changes it though. I have a feeling it doesn't, but uh, we'll just leave that to go. Hopefully some more iron. I'm actually going to grab more iron to smelt down, because we're going to need a lot of iron. So let's go chuck you in there. We only got that much, so let's see. So that's four auto hammers. Uh, did we just grab them all? No. Oh no, because we need to put them in. Okay, so that's four no. auto hammers. That's enough to complete the sand one, I believe. So if we go one, um. Two, three. So the cobbles. So for instance, in here, the cobblestone will be crushed into gravel, which will be then exported into here. This gravel will be hammered into dirt, which will be transported into here. Yep, and then the dirt will get hammered into sand, which will be the end, then transported into here. The only problem is, I don't actually have enough diamonds to make the diamond mesh. I need another 12 diamonds to do that. So look in here, we got 3 in here, so let's put them in there. So that's 7. So we're looking for 5 more. Uh, we should have some more iron, yes we do. So let's put you in there. So that's another 2. We need 1 more ingot. And that is the auto hammers complete. So now let's, well, nearly, we just need the meshes now. So now let's get, I use the cobblestone as like a basis to help with the transfer nodes, but let's get rid of them. So you got one auto hammer here, this will be the sand to dust. You've got one here, this will be crushing, oh wait, that's right, we have to make sure these aren't linked. Because now, yep, uh, so I'm just going to just put you in there. So this will be sand to dust, uh, this will be sand to dust, this will be dirt to sand, this will be gravel to dirt, and this last one here will be cobble to uh, gravel. So we just put it there. So we just watch it. So it becomes gravel, gets, oh we didn't link that up. Didn't we not? So that should be put into there. Yep, the gravel will get crushed into dirt. The dirt will come into here and be crushed into sand. Sand comes into here and gets crushed into the dust, 
which then goes from here to here. And that will basically just slowly over time get us all the resources we need. It's not efficient. If anything, we should be making a much bigger power bank to be running these because one of these runs one of these because these run off 40 RF a tick and these produce 40 RF a tick. Um, but it's not bad. It's a good start. It just means that we'll be sieving a lot more gravel than we will dirt, which is fine. Uh, let's go check if these guys are ready. You're ready, and you're ready. Come on, Molten Iron. That's another Molten Clay. That's cool. Not really. Alright, now we need to actually make... Uh, we're going to need so much. So let's make two... Let's make. How do I just make iron plates? Oh my god, I did. <sighs> Please tell me we can melt these. We can. So we got that. Like this. Giant, we got six. Let's go. Seven. That. Okay, this. No. Break this. Put the two fluid, um, the fluid nodes on there. Um, let's fill that in. Do that and that. Bring it up like this. And into a drum. So this should be putting the molten obsidian in here. There we go. And then we just need to do the same with this one. And that should be putting the liquid blue slime in here. Bingo. Awesome. So we've got, what's that, six. And then we've got like the molten clay ones as well. So oh. molten clay. So you're about two minutes away. Oh. Awesome. I think maybe next episode, once we get like enough resources, we might actually get like an extreme reactor that might be able to produce enough power for us. Uh, so you guys aren't ready to breed. I think that might be where we call the episode. Next episode, I'm probably going to do a lot of base work off camera. Uh, get everything ready, set up, so we can make um, the rooms a little bit more efficient. Um, and we will come back when that is done, in hopefully two days' time from seeing this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to uh, smash that like button. God, that sounded creepy. But uh, yeah, smash that like button, subscribe for some more uh, stone block. I know it's going a bit slow, we're just hitting a little bit of a roadblock between the making of sufficient power and generating resources, which we will probably get over pretty quickly. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys are having a, or have a fantastic day or night, wherever you're from, uh, Europe, America, who knows. Um, and I will see you all in the next video.